hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to define an inverse function for a computed field in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials so we already have learned how to create compute field and how to create a non-stored compute field in odoo so currently i am in the patient's form here you can see we are at a hospital dot patient model and if i click on edit we already have a computed field here that is age is a computed field which computes the value from the entered date of birth so if i set a date of birth here if i set the year to 2000 you can see the age will get changed according to the date of birth so we will be defining an inverse function for this age field so first of all i'll explain what is the use case of the inverse function so once you define an inverse function for a computed field in odoo the field will get editable so here you can see currently as it is a computed field we cannot enter a value into this field this is a read only field because of compute nature so once you define an inverse function for this field this field will be getting editable that is we can manually enter an age inside this field and we have to define an inverse function so the responsibility of the inverse function is suppose if i enter some age here maybe if i put 30 it has to set corresponding date of birth that is if it is 2020 and if i enter the age as 30 it has to set date of birth as 1990 that is today's date minus 30 so let's see how we can make this field editable by setting the inverse function for the age field so i'll go to the pie charm and here we have the custom add-ons so i'll open om hospital then to the models folder here we have patient.py file where we have defined hospital dot patient model and if you check here here we have the age field fields dot integer string age compute you can see it's a computed field so if i search for this function here you can see at api depends it's depending on date of birth and it's computing the age from the inputted date of birth now what we have to do we have to define an inverse function so along with the field definition here i will add inverse equal to then you have to specify a function name so simply i'll copy the existing function name that is compute age so along with that i'll change inverse compute age i'll name it as inverse compute age so we have just added a key along with the field that is inverse equal to then i have specified a function name inverse compute age now what we have to do we have to define a function with this name so simply right now i'm not going to define so let me yeah let me define a function inverse equal to so here we have our computed function so what i'll do i'll simply define diff and i'll just put a return so simply i have defined a inverse compute age function and simply i have return the thing just nothing i'm not executing any logic simply i have written returned a return and here you can see along with the field definition i have added inverse equal to function name now what i'll do i'll just restart the service as we have made change inside the python and i'll go to the ui and i'll upgrade om hospital module so i'll click on upgrade button and you can see the module has been upgraded and if i open any of the patients i'll open apple test and if i click on edit we can see the field is getting editable now initially it was read only but once we define an inverse key that is inverse function the field is getting editable now now what we have to do we have to define this function we have to enter proper logic suppose if i put the age as 100 it has to set the date of birth as as it is april 23 the date should be coming like this what i can say if i minus 100 from 2022 it should be like 1922 it has to come like this so let's see how we can write the inverse function for this age field so here we have the code so first of all what i'll do i'll write it depends i'll add this decorator 
at API depends. This function has to depend on the age field, this field. So on changing something on this field, the function has to be executed. So in the decorator, I will add this field that is age at API depends age. Then what we have to do, I'll write a for loop for rec in self in order to avoid singleton error for rec in self. That is done. Then simply I'll copy today's date. So we can get today's date from date dot today. Date package I have already imported from date time import date. So on calling date dot today, we will be getting today's date. Then rec dot I have to set date of birth. So from this function, I have to set date of birth to value to this field date of birth equal to today minus i will use a package called a relative delta so here you have to import from date util you can see from date util import relative delta so simply import this python functionality from date util import relative delta then what i can say today minus relative delta dot relative delta of years year equal to what i can say age i'll just pass the value of age to this field rec dot age rec dot age so what we are doing is that today will give us today's date and this relative delta can be used in order to subtract year or days or month from a day date time so here we have date and using relative delta we can decrease n number of months or n number of years or n number of days from today's date and get that date so here i will decrease year that is a rec dot age now let's see what happens upon restarting the service so simply i have done everything so i'll just restart the service and i'll go to the ui and simply i'll just refresh the screen we have receiving an error not a correct date so i'll come to hospital i'll open any of the apple test and here you can see currently date of birth is 2000 and age is computed as 22 now if i change my age to 25 and if i click on save we are receiving an error so there is something wrong so today minus relative delta like dot age so let me check this package relative delta I'll navigate to all the source code, find in path, let you delta of year. We have to pass years. So if I go here, instead of year, we have to pass years. So let me restart and let's see whether the issue will be resolved. So I'll just simply restart and I reload the screen. And if I come to hospital, apple test still we are receiving an error i think it's due to an existing rec value so simply i'll comment this code from here and i'll restart again and i'll come to the ui and restart refresh and i'll check the values it says we have some wrong data in the fields so what we have to do let me comment these functions just to trace the bug so let's upgrade sorry let's restart and let's refresh and see so if i open apple test still we are receiving an error error is not a correct date so i think we have something wrong with date of the first record so and it seems it's not getting opened so simply let me delete that record from the database delete you cannot delete a patient with appointments so let me go to the appointments first and let me group by group by patient and apple test has seven appointment so let me try to delete those delete so still we will be receiving a one appointment we are receiving an error message here so here we have to iterate for rec in self we are receiving an error message we have to iterate it over the for loop for rec in self rec dot state yeah so for now i'll just comment this field else the validation error will be thrown so right now i'll comment this function and i'll restart and i will delete 
those appointments so i'll click on delete so we can see the appointments of apple test has been deleted now i'll come to the patients and i'll delete this patient also delete so that's done now what i'll do i'll simply uncomment those codes so i'll comment uncomment these codes as well as i'll uncomment these codes so i'll just restart the service again and if i come here i'll just refresh the screen so you can see if i open Uru meets test here we have the age as 22 now i'll change my age to 30 and if i click on save you can see the date of birth is getting as 1992 if i change the date of birth to 1990 the age also will be getting changed to 32 so right now we can edit both date of birth as well as age so if i change date of birth it will set the corresponding age and if you change the age it will set corresponding date of birth so once i enter 45 here you can see date of birth is coming as 1977 so if i set the age as 13 can see date of birth is 2009 if i set the date as 2007 the age will be changed to 15 so this is how we can define an inverse function in Udo. simply add inverse equal to along with the field definition and specify a function name then you have to define the corresponding function and from there you have to write the logic to set the correct value so if we didn't specify or if we didn't write uh, the compute inverse function correctly because when we check the date of birth and age may different right now when user enter user edit either date of birth or age both data will be same if date of birth is 2000 age will be 22 and if age is entered as 30 the date of birth will come as 1992 so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to share with us over the email that is orumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you